So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. MashaAllah, today is Friday. And Friday is a great day. All days are great, but Friday is even greater. We go on the Friday prayer also, and I've told you all, men and women, they should go for the Friday prayer. And today, since it's Friday, tell your parents to take you for the Friday prayer. Now, in Kothanyadi Kaluni also, they are opening, you know, there are building small, small mosques, mosques. Where there is places for the ladies also that they can go and pray. So we should try to go there, if not very far. And then people who live further away, then there is the mosque, for Khan Mosque. When we go left on the Mukachok, then we have Darus Salam, big mosque. After the people's Chorangi, it will come on the right hand side. Then we have another mosque uh, <coughs> Nimra Masjid, Nimra Mosque. It is behind Farooq Adam. You will have to go there and slightly look for it. But if you ask some people, they will tell you where it is. My children, problem right now that we are facing and the whole Muslim Ummah is facing is very difficult. And that problem is that we are leaving Islam slowly and gradually and going towards the shirk and the bid'ahs. So we have to come back to the real religion. How we will come back to the real religion? We can come back to the real religion by following the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Anyone does anything, anyone does anything, you should always check and see. What you should check and see? That is he doing what Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did? Just take the current example because Islam is be something that we have to follow and then we cannot just neglect it. Look at the current situation. Whatever Tariq al is doing, we should analyze whether they are doing it correctly or incorrectly. Some people in France, they made some cartoons of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and they are displaying it. Okay, where it is happening in France. All right. So first thing, let's see what we have to do. The Tariq al they are fighting with the government. So, like I have told you, you know, the procedure. Number one, we look in the Quran, what the Quran is saying. Obey Allah, obey his messenger, and obey the current government, elected government. This is what Quran is saying. Obey Allah. Obey the messenger and obey the current government. Now, when we say obey the current government, so finish story. If the government is saying stay home, you stay home. If the government is saying go, go to school, go to school. The government is saying, you know, go study, you study. Government said that COVID schools are closed, the schools are closed. We should try to obey the government as much as we can, unless they are doing something haram. And following, there are things which educated people understand. Okay. And there are things the stupid people don't understand. So we always should follow the intelligent people. Who are the intelligent people? Starting with the AC school. Sir Shah is intelligent. <laughs> So you should also be happy with that. At least you have one intelligent person in your life. Second, date Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Now let's see. Let's analyze the life of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. People called him all kinds of names. You know, abusive language. During that time when he was alive, they used to throw garbage on him. Then Hinda, 
she used to put the ujjri of dead animals on prophet muhammad peace be upon him when he used to go in prostration so as we analyze the life of prophet muhammad peace be upon him he always prayed to allah for a better time he always prayed to allah for a better time prophet muhammad peace be upon him always prayed to allah for a better time <coughs> sahaba kram ajmain also always prayed to allah for a better time so right now what tariq e labbaik doing is absolutely wrong against the islam against the current government against the sunnah of prophet muhammad peace be upon him their name itself is incorrect their name itself is incorrect why their name itself is incorrect correct why it is incorrect it is incorrect because we pray to allah subhanahu wa taala all muslims pray to allah subhanahu wa taala we only pray to allah subhanahu wa taala we do not pray to anybody else other than allah subhanahu wa taala if you are going to pray only to allah subhanahu wa taala then it leaves no excuse for us to obey allah we should never disobey allah subhanahu wa taala we should never disobey allah subhanahu wa taala we should never disobey the prophet muhammad peace be upon him our religion teaches us to be nice and gentle and good to our neighbors now the people the policemen who have been killed in these riots this is you know riots that they have created against the government because these are the workers of the kuffar who the kuffar are the jews the christians the hindus they want to create instability in your country pakistan is the last port of islam pakistan is the last port of islam once pakistan disappears then i don't know what will happen to islam because there is no country as strong as is as pakistan for doing everything there is a procedure for doing everything there is a procedure you have to follow you cannot fight with the government this is not allowed in islam and we only say labbaik allahumma labbaik there is no muhammad there muslims only say labbaik allahumma labbaik we do not say anything else we cannot add anything in it we cannot remove anything from it the kalma is labbaik allahumma labbaik this is the talbiya that we recite during hajj you cannot change this talbiya to labbaik ya rasul allah this is haram wrong shirk guna sin whoever is saying it whoever is participating in it whoever is supporting it they are all committing a sin they are all committing a sin and if it goes to its final destination then it is completely shirk any question all the children have your notebooks ready i am giving you the quiz diary oh my god see on page 243 and on page 244 on page 243 and 244 there are six ahadith write down the six ahadith and there are five quranic verses learn them for the quiz there are six ahadith in these two pages 
in five Quranic verses, which when we were doing the class, I made you underline it and write H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6 plus Q1, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6. Then you go to page number 200 and... Sixty, then go to page number two hundred and sixty. Page two sixty. It says Friday prayer. So learn this Quranic verse of Friday prayer. All of you, you are absent. That is very bad. Ahmad Ansari, Faraj, and Konda. All the boys shake. So hail. She should be coming. Every day to class, not being absent. This is not right. So on page 260, we have the Quranic verse. O oh, you who believe when the call is proclaimed to pray on Friday, learn it to the end with the reference. Always learn with the reference. 62, colon 9 and 10. 62 is the chapter number and verse number 9 and 10. Everybody clear? Any question? Regarding the quiz diary, any question? No, sir. All right. Now, in open English, quiz diary for English. You're writing in your diary. I don't know where you're writing it. Write it. In English, we have the World's mo probably the world's most kept fastest train. Eh? Probably the world's fastest train. So chapter, probably the world's fastest train and the vocabulary we did regarding train. They gave you this chapter. Which chapter? Okay, Hajra is saying I gave this chapter last time also, but did not cover it properly. <clears throat> we gave you those 10 points. So we are giving you this chapter again. All the question answers, word meanings, and the extra vocabulary we did for the train. Remember, we did extra vocabulary for the train. Plus the sun sholo. Question answers and word meanings. So two chapters. There's plenty of time. So we are giving you two chapters, Sun Shallow. Question answers, word meanings. We have done all the word meanings. Word meanings, question answers, and I'm giving you words probably the world's fastest train along with the exercise on train okay i did the exercise on train emphasizing did the exercise on train <laughs> so for the intelligent people they should get the idea all right so the islamic studies period any question regarding english quiz diary Now we are back to Islamic studies. You always remember this. I am your teacher. Okay. My job is to teach you the right thing. This is my job. This is my goal. So people will like it. Still I have to teach you the right thing. People don't like what I teach. Still I have to teach you the right thing. Because if we accept everybody that everyone is a Muslim, then what? We are not following the Quran and the correct authentic hadith. If we call everybody a Muslim, then we are not 
following the Quran and we are not following the correct Hadith. Yes, you might think that you will be in peace. Yes, you might think that you will be in peace, but you will never be in peace. Because as soon as we die, we have to answer to Allah. All Muslims, <clears throat> Allah SWT says in the Quran, there is a time and place fixed for you to die. So I cannot change the time. I cannot place change the place of my death. Wherever my death is going to be, it is going to happen. People were afraid. People were afraid. What they were afraid of? That if we go outside and do jihad, we will die. People were afraid during the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that if we go out and fight in the cause of Allah, then we are going to die. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and Allah answered this question for the people. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered this question like this, Kama qala qal, ke jay, when that time of death will come, even if you are hiding and sleeping in your most, in your, in your home, you will die. You are not on the battleground. Understand this. And you thought that you will live if you don't go and fight on the battleground. So you will just hide in your home or sleep or do whatever you are doing. But if it is time for you to die, you will die. It doesn't have to be the battleground. When you die on the battleground fighting the kuffar, who are the kuffar? The polytheists, the wrongdoers. Okay. Kuffar, Zalimun. These are the same people, the polytheists who believe in more than one God. They do not believe in the unity and oneness of God. Those are kuffar. So, when you fight dying with kuffar, you are a martyr. When you die lying in your bed, you are just dead. You will not never be a martyr. So, never be afraid. But, fighting only for the correct cause. Okay? Fighting only for the correct cause. Not just because we want to. No. We cannot say that I want to. I want this. I want that. No. You want nothing. You do what Allah wants you to do. Understand the point here. It is not what you want. It is what Allah wants. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, never did anything or said anything against the teachings of the Allah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, never did or said anything against the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we are disobeying Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are entering the hellfire. We praise Allah alone. And 17 times in a day, minimum, we say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And we are saying it, all praises for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after saying this, then you are going after the people who are dead in the grave. You are going after the people who are not alive. They cannot do anything for you. They cannot do anything for you. You can do nothing for you. In the grave, it is going to be in you and there's going to be the angels who are going to come and question you. And they are going to ask you simple questions. That what is your, what was your religion? Who was your messenger? Then there will be, I don't know how they are going to ask about the namaz. So there will be some questions regarding namaz also. So now the next best thing that you have to do is you have to get your information together. And praying is compulsory. <coughs> or yes, Faraj, you have to learn the six ahadith and you have to learn the five Quranic verses plus... Plus, you have to learn the 
verse of the Quran regarding Friday prayer, which is on page number 260. It's on page number 260. Learn this verse. And I discussed this in detail yesterday. But today I will just tell you this. Friday cannot be a holiday for Muslim. Because it is the direct order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That leave your work. Go. Pray. Then, then after the prayer. Go back to your work and seek the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whoever these misguided people are. <coughs> who want to. Make Friday a holiday are bad people. Don't listen to them. And Muhammad Ali Ghori, you have joined us very late. So then consult with your friends and they will repeat the quiz diary for you. Now, we continue. Eh? No, not yet. Not about. We have done the part of the dua, dua also. <clears throat> we had did this yesterday. And now comes the congregational prayer pray on page 265. Digging. What is congregational prayer? When two or more people pray together, that is called a congregational prayer. When two or more people pray together, it is called a congregational prayer. When two or more people pray together, it is called a congregational prayer. See verse number 243, if you go down third line, Islam lays special stress on prayer in congregation. The Quran says, and bow down your head with those who bow down in worship. And bow down your head with those who bow down in worship. This will be your Q1 for the congregational prayer. Then H1, the Holy Prophet said, a prayer right after this verse of the Quran, chapter number 2. Verse 43, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said a prayer performed in congregation. A prayer performed in congregation is 27 degrees more excellent than the prayer said to be said by a single person. Agreed upon. Now agreed upon always means that more than one authentic hadith are mixed together. It means Bukhari, Muslim, Tirmidhi. Eh? That's why they call it agreed upon. The Holy Prophet is reported to have said a prayer performed in congregation is 27 degrees more excellent than the prayer said by a single person. So this is the importance of the congregational prayer. Now, Hajra is going to read from two, page 266. He is also reported to have said, if there are three persons in a village or even in a desert and they do not pray together, the devil would surely overtake them. So always pray Salat in congregation. For a wolf, only injuries as injuries injures, oh, sorry, injures a solitary 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 ship. She sorry. Oh Abu Daud. So, Con Congregational prayer serves as a strong force in uniting the believers. The gathering of all people living in a locality five times daily in a mosque helps in the establishment of healthy social relations between different sections of the Muslim community. This gathering becomes larger in the weekly Friday service and still larger in the two Eid gatherings. This reaches its climax on the occasion, climax on the occasion of the annual pilgrimage when Muslims from all parts of the world assemble in Mecca. 
congregational prayer level social differences and promotes an atmosphere of equality and brotherhood in the mosque a king may stand shoulder to shoulder with his poorest subjects and the white man with the black congregational prayer lead to the realization among the worshipers that all men are equal before allah these lessons of equality fraternity and brotherhood when put into practice serve as the foundation for the unification of the human race however much islam may have preached the equality of mankind and the brotherhood of muslims it would have been purposeless without being put into practice through the institution of congregational prayer so now this concludes the prayer salat and fasting on monday inshallah we will start fasting again these mistakes that you guys make because you are not reading now there's like i'm assigning you fasting so read the chapter of fasting yes read the chapter of fasting there are only two pages 1 2 3 4 4 and a half pages well 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and 3 and a half pages so read them look at it as your assignment as you will read and mark the difficult words also and madam is saying that i take very long because the class time is only 30 minutes so i'm going to end the class so inshallah we will meet again after 10 15 minutes